Welcome back to A Little Bit to the Left. It's a puzzle game where the correct answer is always the most satisfying one. Here I've been given a bunch of cleaning supplies, and I'm supposed to figure out the rules of how they all fit together, including this little sponge. So my first bet is that they have to line up without overlapping. Like you can see these curves kind of fit in well together. This really, I mean, it's okay. These curves fit in well together. I've just got to find a bunch of those if I can help it. What about the bucket? Oh yeah, you definitely ought to avoid the bucket. Looks like everything has found its place except for the right side of the bucket. What if the bucket like goes on top of some of the cleaning supplies? <laughs> oh, wait a second. I can put it up here. Oh, so the bucket can go off screen. I had to put the sponge up. Got some buttons. Surely you're not just supposed to stack these. Nice order. Oh, and maybe you alternate circle and octagon. Yeah, that one was easy. Eh. But there are three solutions. Okay, hold on, hold on. You've caught my interest. Mm, maybe I'll line them up from side to side. Yeah, I guess they do like to do this. Maybe in order. Oh, okay. Well, there's symmetry on each of these buttons. Like, this button has three-way symmetry. This has four-way symmetry. This has six-way symmetry. This has eight-way symmetry. This has 10-way symmetry. And this has 12-way symmetry, like a clock. That's not a proper order, but an interesting observation. What else could it be? I mean, there's three different colors. Oh, I guess they all have different number of edges. I thought some of them were circles, but actually they just have more sides on them. This one might not even be a total circle because you can see the sides kind of partitioned into very small bits. Like this one has six sides. This one has eight. This one has 10 sides. This one has 12 sides. Does this one have 14 sides? And then this one has a ton of sides? That's the ticket. Okay, that got way more interesting as it went on. Putting silverware into the holder. Oh, there's actually a ton of options here. Oh, and nothing cleanly snaps into place. You just gotta hope it works out. Well, some of these do. I feel a lot of these are gonna make me very upset. What? Oh. I mean, that kind of looks right. It also magnetized its way there. Okay, this one wants to be lateral. I mean, that looks like it fits. Okay, that chopstick definitely goes in. But who has only one chopstick, right? What the heck? I don't know what this is called, but it looks like it fits here. I don't know what this is either. I don't know, that's not that satisfying. Oh, it can go to these. Okay, that kind of looks like it fits. Oh, I'm going to have to do a lot of changing, aren't I? Oh, gosh. Okay. There's also the measuring cups. I mean, you got to put those in order. Can I stack them? No, it looks like it's going to be rotated. I mean, that fits perfectly up there. Can I stack the spoons? No, I can't. But I always stack the spoons in my kitchen. You can stack the knives. Ooh, yeah. It, it does not look like there's enough room for me to do everything I want. You can stack the forks. Not even an option to put them side by side. And with the big spoons. I mean, the silverware looks okay, but everything else looks pretty bad. So, I mean, here's my main issue, right? I got three things of kind of a similar size. Actually, a very similar size, it would seem. This one's a little longer, so I think it does go there. Look at these two. They're practically the same size. You think maybe they go in together, but then they don't fit. Oh, I could put this up with this. Oh, spatula, right? Because it's similar colors. This looks good but still something's wrong. I mean, do I like that the spoon and forks are overlapping like that? I would prefer that they're stacked. Surely there's no fork spoon order, right? Like forks here. I mean, this one's rounded, so it could be more suitable for spoons. Wait, it stacks here. Spoon stacked there, that's right. Fork stack here. Still wrong? Everything looks really close. Maybe this goes up by the, oh, that looks really good actually. Oh my goodness, I didn't notice the contour, the turn here. Of course, that's so much better. Small little details. It's It all came together beautifully, though. A light bulb's got to fit in this. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, the fat bulb fits in beautifully. Okay. You start with the big ones. That's definitely the strategy. That looks like it fits in beautifully, too. I mean, if it's big and if it gets really close to the sides, you know you're doing something right. This one looks like it fits perfectly there. Good for a thin one. Like one that goes there. I think it is God's fin thinnest soldier. What about the butt plug? Uh, it doesn't have a home. Wait. Never mind. And that one's close. It kind of looks like it overlaps. No, there's like a pixel of separation. Yeah, that's how you know it's tight. Got another light bulb. Perfect. This one looks really good. What about the energy efficient bulb? I mean, that looks like it fits in there. And now it's starting to get a little easier. 
No. Yeah, that looks really good. Wide one goes here. Green one goes beautifully there. Big one there. All right. It all falls into place. That is extremely satisfying. Wow. Okay. A whole drawer full of school supplies. You know what I'm going to do? Okay. I'm going to take everything to the side just so I can see the playing field easily. If you want to organize, you got to start with the biggest thing first. And the biggest thing I see is the scissors. Looks like it goes beautifully in the top left. This switchblade is a great school supply. It looks like it fits there. It goes in the top right. Sunglasses? No, sunglasses go right here, definitely. Maybe multiple pencils and pens? Yeah, it's a good spot for a pen. Is there also a pencil? No, but there's another pen. Tape fits in wonderfully here. All right, whistle looks like it fits beautifully here. The master lock kind of has a curved top. That one's a little iffy, but I don't see any better options. This matches the same shape as, you know, I can't tell what these things are, but they are satisfying. Matchbox, a wonderful school supply that goes wonderfully here. Did I put the candles by it? No, it looks like there's actually several different sizes. Oh, so maybe they could go here. And they ramp up in size like so. I mean, it's an idea. I think it's a pretty good idea, too. Yeah, that looks pretty clean. I could mess around with that to be more exact later. Oh, there's a big one here. Hold on. Okay, hold on. That's coming, too. Now it gets tough because these are pretty big. I think I go crayons down here. Got to do it in rainbow order. Red, orange, yellow, green. No blue or purple. No, there is blue. No purple extremely unbased or batteries i think they just go into the biggest remaining thing that looks pretty big i feel like they might fit better here though you can almost see there's like condenser four but they won't turn on their sides it really looks like they go into this box though uh, what about the q-tip the ear destroyer put it in there the buttons go in the circles which is weird because i guess everything goes in the square hole the corners are rounded a little bit so you can see it oh i missed one candle Let's see, do the thumbtacks fit nicely in here? I mean, they do. You know what? They do, and I see where the dice finally go now. It all... No, never mind. <laughs> uh, they're not doing the good thing. USB stick fits wonderfully there. I guess the paper clips go here. And that's why it's divided into four sections. Sure. And now the dice go here. And honestly, the last place I'd expect it. But you can line them up in a three by two. Oh, first try. There we go. Talk about improvement. Paint drips. Well, of course, the paint has to drip in the logical place. Oh, you don't move the cans. You move the drip itself. Okay, so there's not much an option here. I'll just line up red with red right now. And let's see. There is another red. Um. Okay, this is probably the red I want to line up with. Maybe move it over so the orange has something to line up with as well. Yellow's already lined up. Got to line up the orange now. Oh, that does line up green beautifully. So now it's just this bottom one. That looks right. One of two. There's another way. Do I have to hide all the paint drip? It's a nice, clean working environment. No, but I probably have to make this pyramid on the top. Don't think I don't see you. Line up the pyramid, not the paint. Pyramids, as we know, are centered creatures. Well, I see it's a white on the... Oh, because the pyramid's got to be fully brown. Don't just match up the lines. There we go. Bunch of keys. Now, first thing I see is that at the heads of the keys, they have different number of holes. So this has one hole. This has two holes, three holes, four holes, five holes, six holes. And I guess this must be seven holes. Probably got to range by sides and by teeth, if I had to guess. Size looks right. I do think it's a number of teeth, but two of them kind of have one tooth. So I don't know how they're sorted. I got these wrong. Maybe like this. Like how many does this really count as? And pointing up versus pointing down. Maybe that's just to tell you you're not supposed to do it this way, but I want to do it that way. Frankly, it's the only other thing I got. How about we go lightest to darkest? So white is the lightest, followed by yellow, followed by light green, darker green, then blue, then black. 
wait a second. Do the teeth kind of remind you of numbers? Like the blue one looks like a four and the black one looks like a seven. Now you tell me this looks like a three. Well, what's this? A mirrored three? Is this a five on its side? I might be reading into it way too much, but maybe like this could be a one. Hold on. I mean, this could be a two. This could be a three. The four, you can kind of see the four on the bottom. This does look like a five on its side. This would then be six. Oh my god, that was very hidden. Wow. Another toolbox. I actually like these a lot. They feel like a large project. Because it doesn't seem like there's much that fits into one. Well, you take the big screw and you put them in here. You definitely alternate their directions. That might be the only gimme. Well, this looks like a gimme, actually. Yeah, these cleanly fit. The really thin ones. This one up here? Yeah, under my face cam. Say it ain't so. Let me retrieve everything from there. There we go. There's nothing hidden. Probably work with the bend of some of these. What came first? The toolbox bend or the bend in these? Oh, there's like a degree of bend. Like this one's really straight and then less straight, less straight, less straight. Super gay. Got the nut. Is that going here? I don't know. I mean, it looks nice in there, but it probably fits more cleanly here. Got a Lego brick fits nicely. Got a hexagonal washer thing. I don't learn the names of my tools. I just follow the instruction on the booklet and I get the job done. That's how I work. Oh, that looks like a pretty clean bend, especially if you invert it like that. Oh, and the circle definitely goes there. And what has an angled top? This one busted nail? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, this fits wonderfully in here. Yeah, you can see the edges just barely twist the fit. And of course they alternate to squeeze in more thing per thing. You put the fat ones in here. Definitely keep alternating. Extremely T-shaped. Oh, these do go in here. Oh no, I messed it up. Must be fixed. Okay, it was never that messed up. Also, this is what I tried to do the first time. Didn't really work, but I can't complain because it looks like everything's right. First try again, beautiful. Now you gotta sort out your medicine cabinet. All right, let's again get everything out. This is a weird perspective. I'm used to the top down. This jar won't budge, okay? Like the jar has to be there. Like there's a crack in the side as if it's propping up the cabinet itself. Here's the thing though. I can almost tell by the shape. We're probably gonna have to do something with the red and white. So, okay, okay, yeah, that lines up beautifully. It just floats in space. What about the crumpled toothpaste? The new toothpaste? The new toothpaste isn't doing anything. What the? Oh, I see. It's a toothpaste holder. Well, that changes a lot. What else can I put in there? There's the toothbrush. Oh, also in the holder. What else goes in the holder, huh? I don't know yet. I'll leave this off to the side just so I can keep working with the big stuff and see what all my options are. There are a lot of options. Oh, that looks wonderful. What the hell is this thing? Is this some sort of mechanism to get extra toothpaste out of the tube? I don't understand, but the bottom looks beautiful. Beauty products go up top. We all know this to be true. Yeah, and make sure the wavy lines fit, but also go by size. These suspicious bottles gotta have a consistent label. Oh, the Q-tips go in the jar. Um, they're not going in the jar. Gotta make sure the green bottles have leaves that match up. Seashell, of course. A ring. The way I see it, that can be any order. How do we get these to go in the glass thing? Oh, you take off the lid. The lid, and then it can go in. I see. There we go. All tidied up. Gotta put the lid back on. There we go. Well, with my bathroom cleaned, I think it's time to go. I'd like to thank you all for joining me. Let me know if you want to see another one. I hope you all have a wonderful day and peace.